Hello everyone. In this video, Windmill Software will present some of the new and improved capabilities of dashboards in PlanView PPM Pro. We'll focus on grouping dashboards on the dashboard list page, adding reports to the dashboard using the WYSIWYG What You See Is What You Get designer, and updating variable settings on individual reports within the dashboard. Let's start by opening the dashboards list page. Here I can see a list of all the dashboards that I have access to. I can apply a filter to the list if it's too long. I can run the dashboard, create a new dashboard, and perform actions like bulk editing in this view as well. I also now have the ability to group the dashboards by different fields like owner and scopes. I'll open up the portfolio status dashboard so that I can begin its design. Here I can see the basic details and options for the dashboard on the left and the report designer on the right. I need to add some reports to the dashboard. I'll select forecast dollars by invoice date, planned versus actuals, and risks. The designer shows the reports using sample data and allows me to rearrange and resize different components within the dashboard. I'll save the dashboard and define the variable settings. The variable settings work the same way that they currently do on reports. Here I can update the output and display settings for each report. I can also allow the user running the dashboard to adjust the output and display to fit their own needs. Creating and designing dashboards in PPM Pro has never been simpler. In this video, we have demonstrated grouping dashboards on the dashboard list page, adding reports to the dashboard using the dashboard designer, and updating variable settings on individual reports within the dashboard. You can find more videos showing the latest and greatest from PlanView PPM Pro on our website. If you would like to schedule a more focused demo for your team, please contact Windmill using the information on the screen.